Dr. Anjana Bana here and thank you again for joining me on my YouTube channel. Uh, we are still at the Sculpra launch and as you've seen in all the other videos I'm running about and I'm super super excited uh, to be chatting to Dr. Alexa Alessandra Haddad all the way from Brazil, a unbelievably experienced board certified plastic surgeon who also has an extra qualification in dermatology and at the, at, because we're at Sculpra, um, she has 17 years worth of experience in using Sculpra as well as writing some of the consensus documents on, on its use. So we are so privileged to have her here. And I'm also super stoked because I am going to be doing some hands on with her on Tuesday. So wow. yes, well, yes. That's a beauty for me. <laughs> and what I love about the way you present um, is the detail. I love the detail you give, the academic answers. I I love for that. It's like Hema Sundaram. I, I love all of that that you um, the, the way you the way you present. <laughs> so, um, in terms of um, sculpture, if you can give us a, a quick breakdown of about what what is sculpture, because it's it's been in and out of our country, not always legally, but now it's here properly launched. What is sculpture? Sculpture is a different concept. Okay. He, he is like um, something to stimulate your own body to the collagen. I would say that is an organic way of replacing the aging, uh, uh, aging, reversing the aging process. Because as we age, after thirties, we lose one percent of collagen every year. If you reach my office at fifties, you have already lost one third of your all collagen to, that you have in your life. So you have to replace this collagen, and through the biostimulator is a way of bringing back the amount of collagen that you lost. It's not a filler. It's yes. not to fill any wrinkles or uh, volumize any area, but to replace the content of collagen. It's like if you have a bank, a yes. bank of collagen during your life, you go consuming, your account go down and down and down. So every time you do the sculpture, you put your account, your banking of collagen up and up and up a little bit. So you are replacing and reversing the damage in a nice and very natural way. You know, one of the things um, that you and Louise mentioned as well in the lecture is before it was all just about collagen, 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 but there's so many other advantages to using a sculpture. So there is lift, uh, skin quality change, and uh, a bit of volumization, not the main uh, indicating main purpose, but when you reposition the tissues and you put sculpture in the right places, you have like uh, uh, a replace of a, a slight volume that you lost. It's not to huge volumes or to leave the puffy faces, but for slight volume deficiencies. And then you put the product in the right place and you correct that slight uh, volume. So it's what changes in the uh, indications is the way of injecting the product yeah. and the um, distribution of the product for the different uh, goals of treatment that we have. Uh, volumization, skin quality, tightening. So you, it is like what you learn today is what you are going to use in terms of product uh, distribution. So would Sculptra be a form of regenerative medicine? Of course, yes. You did, you, 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 you exactly touch the crucial point of sculpture is regenerative medicine is not a replacement is regenerate your own structure in the skin and then 
Is there any merit to mixing sculpture with things like PRF or PRP? Is that something that you think is necessary or is it just marketing? Uh, it does uh, all the work alone. Uh, so there's no scientific support to mix it with uh, other products. However, if you want to combine with technologies or combine with, for example, micro, uh, micro needling, yes. you can combine uh, in a way of uh, uh, doing prolonged effects or in a way of optimizing the collagen production. But he can do the work alone. So, um, radio frequency micro needling is now also an in thing. How do you? treat um, well combine the treatments because what is safe to do say you uh, someone sees sculpture and like they were saying social media pushes a lot of interest towards these treatments how would you combine treatments like say you want to do radio frequency micro needling um, with sculpture uh, the best is uh, to start with sculpture because you increase the dermal thickness and then you with a, a dermal thickness that is more healthy and more thickened then you come with a micro needling or with a radio frequency, and you have a better uh, layer, a better base to support your treatments. So increase the dermal thickness first with sculpture, and get, then comes with a radio frequency or the micro needling is a very good option. And in my practice, I have like a combination that I, I do the a sculpture first, and then after a few days the micro needling, and then the next. 20 days after another sculpture, 20 days after the micro needling. So these combinations of one and the other increases and boosts the results and shortens the time of the the final outcomes. Oh wow! And there, there's something that you're talking about that uh, you and a group of your colleagues developed. Uh, what firm and lift as well as firm and refresh. So um, another important point in terms of uh, combination treatments would be using sculpture as well as hyaluronic acid fillers. Because the thing now people love instant gratification. So yes, that's it. And sculpture is a slow, like a slow process, but for excellent results so is that a way of besides um, addressing the patient's needs is that a way to um, encourage people to perhaps um, wait for the results uh, why did you come up with firm and lift and um, firm and refresh we think about a functional rejuvenation you treat the cause but you treat the consequences as well in the same time okay. because the cause of majority of the problems is really the aging process so you have to fix it and to treat the cause of the aging process. That is the laxity, the loss of, loss of collagen, loss of support. But at the same time, you have the consequences of it. And when you do this firm and lift, you treat the cause in the lateral part of the face. So you replace the tissues in the lateral part of the face. And then you project the central part of the face where the damage had already occurred. So you give instant gratification, but you give long-term benefits because this is quite important to think about uh, the, the progression of your patient in a, in a line that you can always um, give uh, treatments that will last longer and you bring back to the original, re regenerate the condition that they have. So this is the philosophy, is, is do like a functional rejuvenation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Haddad, for joining me today and for your time. And I am super excited for Tuesday. It's uh, my pleasure. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me once again uh, on thank my you YouTube. Thank for inviting me. No, it's a pleasure. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. Like, share and subscribe. Bye.